Gary, being here a month, first victory, some tough matches leading up to this, but how was it for you today? Yeah, it's not been an, uh, an easy introduction, has it? The first mm -hmm. three games were very, very tough, but delighted to get the first two points, obviously, and, uh, you know, it wasn't pretty out there at times, but uh, a win's a win, and, you know, delighted, and hopefully we can kick on from there, but um, really pleased with that elements of the game today and obviously there's a lot of areas we need to work on but mostly just pleased to get the two points. You call for the last three games of the season to be almost like cup finals yeah. and to really raise the game. Today was a potential banana skin just having come back from Toronto yeah. um, and I know that uh, training's been disrupted in the week and, and most clubs have had that when they've been to Toronto. So. Um, I, I presume that you can excuse a little bit of that scratching us just due to that. Yeah, they, I think have, they have stood up today. Yeah, they, they were a little bit fatigued. I think there were, you know, there were some, you know, certainly we started the game okay, but I think that second 20-minute period we looked like we were running on empty at times, and I thought some, of, you know, some of the stuff that we did, we gave some sloppy penalties away, and I think a lot of that were down to fatigue. Um, uh, and it's been tough, you know, having to manage it, you know, Tuesday was, a, was an on-event as far as training is concerned because the boys were all so tired, you know, we just sent them in the pool for a swim, so we weren't en able to do anything team-wise on Tuesday really, it was just a case of getting the journey out of them. Uh, so we've had a little bit of limited time on the field this week, so yeah, I think it does have an impact, but, you know, it's out of the way now, we've just got to move forward and I can't, we can't use that as any excuse for anything going on after this now, but you're right, we've got two more, that's one ticked off the list as far as we're concerned, we've got two cup finals left. The last 20 minutes, it seemed to me that, that the team kicked on a little bit and, and scored some good tries and, and, and showed some quite a bit of strength really yeah. to get through and barge through some of the tackling. Yeah. Um, so that must have pleased you just on the back of that Toronto uh, in that, that there was that uh, element of um, strength and conditioning yeah. really working through that. Yeah, yeah, they, they did finish the game pretty strong and, and you know, you've got to give credit to, to to Coventry teams like Coventry, these so-called development teams, they they're working hard, you know, and, and they never go away. And I've watched a couple of their games previously, and they don't stop go away from teams that keep coming and coming and coming, and they do play right to the death. So uh, to be able to finish the game off as we did in the last twenty was uh, was quite quite impressive from my point of view. I, I do think we need to get a little bit fitter. That's one of the things that I identify when I came in that the probably fitness levels need to be a little bit better than what they are at the minute. So we are working on that. Um, but to finish the game as strong as that in the last twenty is always a plus. Um, and I think that proves that we are getting to where we want to be. But um, it was just middle portions in games where we're just losing our way. We did it against York, you know, a 20 minute period absolutely killed us. And again today we were just in danger of that middle portion of the game just getting away from us. And something that we need to address and have a think about and make sure we get it right. Uh, and it might just be a case that we have to slow the game down. But um, certainly there's areas that we've got to improve massively on. Is that a lack of ruthlessness? Because it was 12 points up and then almost getting put pegged yeah. back. Um, and is it almost that some people think that the game's won, even though there's only maybe 20, yeah. 30 minutes gone? Very, very possibly. And I think we did, you know, we possibly got a little bit disrespectful and, like I said, some sloppy penalties matched uh, Coventry up, up the field. And they've got some decent, you know, Brad Brennan's a, a decent player at this level. He takes some stopping and uh, he gets them on the front foot and then young Brad Delaney on the back of that. They have got some half decent players. So we were perhaps a little bit disrespectful to them. And uh, certainly when we got 12 12, I think it was a bit of a. A bit of a kick up the backside for us, really, and uh, you know we weren't happy at half time. We spoke about that at half time and stopped stopped giving them field position. I think once we did that, certainly in the last twenty, we, we was much much better. But yeah, there's there's still lots of areas to improve on, and we've got to we've got to make sure we get that out of our game and be more ruthless, as you said. Saying being ruthless is difficult. You know, you've got to. It's a head thing. It's it's a mindset thing, and I think we've got to be a little bit better in that respect. I must ask you because we haven't caught up since Toronto. What, what was the experience like and what did you get out of it and what did the players get out of it? It was a good experience um, as a one-off exercise in my opinion. I wouldn't want to have to go out there again in, in a playoff series. I think in terms of it being a league game, it, it, it felt more like a one-off Challenge Cup game than anything. Um, but we did gain something. We got, you know, the boys gelled and really enjoyed the experience of being out in Canada, you know, Toronto. I think we got a lot out of that in terms of its team building and the rest of it you know we brought some new players in and it enabled them to gel so I think I think we got some positives out of it in terms of our togetherness and setting a few goals for the next three games which we've done and that kind of stuff but um in terms of it you know the logistically it's a nightmare you know getting all the visa stuff and having to travel out there and then the delays coming back you know we were delayed four hours and that 
that has a negative impact on the next week's game. So, you know, if we'd have been drawn away at one of the top three or four sides this week, uh, no disrespect for Coventry, you know, I would have feared for us. But um, it, 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 there are lots and lots of things to, to think about and change. And for a part-time club, I think it's possibly just a little bit too much. But that said, I'm not going to take anything away from the positive experience that it was, other than I don't want to repeat it. What are the Toronto supporters like? Because it's a brand new sport across there. What, what are they like? Oh, they don't understand the game. <laughs> they don't understand the game. I mean, there's a great crowd there, six, seven thousand people, but I'm not sure how many actually pay to go and watch it because they don't understand. They thought we were Ireland because of the colours, you know, they thought we were the Irish team. So they don't understand what's going on most of the time, but I think it's just an education process. But fair play to David Argyle, the owner. I think he's trying to do things in the right manner. I think he's trying to create a really good um, spectator experience so that, you know, people will come back you know but they're very very enthusiastic um, it was nice when we got a couple of tries to hear and booing their own team I quite enjoyed that bit <laughs> but I don't I don't think they understand what the game's all about but like I said it's an education process for them and if David gets it right then people will pay and come as I expect they got a bit of a wake up with 100 and 100 to 150 unset supporters there and uh, a bit more knowledgeable, say, and a bit more vociferous about, uh, about the, uh, the, the rules and stuff. Yeah, yeah, they were great. I'm, honestly, I was so humbled by that support. We came out of the changing rooms and you would have thought we were the home team. It was absolutely fantastic. And I'm sure they went out there and enjoyed it. Obviously, it was a great experience for those guys as well, and I'm sure they thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, but you've got to pay credit to them, you know, that to go out in that in those numbers and, and support the team like they did. And they did, they got back. You know, it was like the uh, proverbial 18th man for us, you know, they really lifted the boys and it was a terrific, uh, terrific to see them all there and I just, you know, I hope we did them credit because they certainly did us proud, yeah. And that's one of the other difficulties you have in, if it became two matches in the season, how yeah. many of those supporters could make that repeat? Uh, exactly, and, and, and they probably wouldn't, Ian, you know, and, and we've asked our place to take three days from their annual leave schedule to go out there and and that's the other side of it it does cost it costs you money you know you've got to take three days off work and, and it's you know you're stuck out on a limb miles away from Toronto it's the Toronto City Centre and there's not much to do so there is an added expense to that so to ask the boys to do it once is tough to ask them to do it twice in one season that's a big ask, a big ask is that and for some of the clubs that might have to go back the Barrows of this world you know the Yorks of this world who may well have to go back there in the playoffs I'm not sure what their decision will be on that one but I wouldn't want to think that we'd have to go back twice because I just think it would be a nightmare to organise and a nightmare to get past players to take that time off work. All right. Well thank you very much. No uh, problem. And, and well done today. Thank uh, you. Win. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.